Hey everyone, this is Kevy Kango, back with another Pokemon Red and Blue video. So today I wanted to show you how you can use a glitch to get the highest possible stats for any given Pokemon. Just to give you some quick background information, what we're going to do is manipulate the DVs and stat EXP for a Pokemon. I've talked about DVs in the past a couple of times already, but essentially there are these hidden values that determine how high or low a Pokemon stats are. DVs range from 0 to 15, and the higher the DV, the higher the stats going to be. At 15, your Pokemon is going to have the highest possible value for that specific stat at any given level. And stat EXP is essentially the boost that your Pokemon gets after it beats a Pokemon or gets some vitamins. After you reach a certain amount of stat EXP points, it'll then get converted to a 1 point increase in a stat. The highest possible amount of stat EXP is 65,535. So what we're going to do today is the glitch will allow us to max out the DVs and the stat EXP, thus giving us the highest possible stats. There are quite a few steps, so make sure to hang on to your hats and follow my instructions very carefully. And as always, if you find this video helpful at all, please consider dropping a like and subscribing with notifications on for more content in the future. I would really appreciate it. I'm going to start off by talking about how to get the 8F item which is pretty famous for allowing people to do all sorts of data manipulation in these games. Here's what we need to start. A Pokemon that knows Fly, or another way to quickly get to Cinnabar Island. We'll also need the Thunder Badge to use Fly outside of battle. A Pokemon that knows Surf, as well as the Soul Badge so we can use it outside of battle. Six items, including a next special, and an item that we can get rid of through an event. My go-to is probably one of the fossils, but you can use other things like water that you give to the Saffron Guards, or the Gold Teeth, for the Safari Zone Warden. For the X Special, you're going to want to place it in the 6th slot in your bag. You can move things around in your bag by pressing select. Once you have these things, you're ready for the next step, which is to encounter a missing no. The quickest way is probably to talk to the old man in Viridian City, and then fly to Cinnabar Island, and surf on this coast until you find the missing no. Once you find it, you can just leave the battle. What this does is it'll increase the number of your 6th item by 128, as you can see here. This is why it was important to put the X special in this specific spot. We actually need a total of 255 of this item, and right now we have 129. So we'll need to toss 2 of them to get 127, so that when we find another missing no, it'll increase again by 128 and get us to 255. When you're done, move the X special to the second slot, and toss everything else in the bag except for the X Special and the key item. When you toss the first item, you'll notice that the X Special will be duplicated. I didn't test this out, but you might be able to get by without tossing everything and only tossing the first item. After that, toss all of the X Specials in the first slot twice, or however many times it takes for the bag to stop responding, meaning that you won't be able to move the arrow or select anything. Congratulations, we have now broken our bag. But don't worry, this is where the key item comes into play. You'll be able to access your bag after you get rid of the item. So I'll give my old Amber to this researcher right here. Next, fly to Celadon City and go to this specific spot. Now toss all but one of the first X special. Okay, things are going to get trippy for a second. What we'll do is switch this item with the nugget all the way down here. Now exit out of the menu and head this way and this is how you get the 8F item. Make sure to check your bag periodically, because the amount of Fs you have depends on the number of steps. So if you take enough steps, you'll go from 0 Fs given to 8 Fs. Once you have it, switch it back with the nugget, fly back to Celadon City, or another location might work too, and then deposit the 8F into the PC. Then just make sure to buy three separate items from the Pokemart to make your bag return to normal. Alright, we've got the first part done. We'll come back to the 8F in a bit, but we've got some other setup things to take care of first. This next part is called bootstrapping. Essentially, with the 8F item, we can use the Pokemon in our party to spell out a certain code to run. So in order to manipulate the DV and stat EXP, we're going to need specific Pokemon and moves for each of these Pokemon. This part isn't particularly hard or anything, but it can be tedious to find exactly what you need, which is listed right here. You'll need 6 Pokemon, with Onix as the first Pokemon in your party. The easiest one I could find was in the Rock Tunnel. Then, your second Pokemon would need to be a Pidgey. But not only that, you have to make sure that there are 24 PPs left on a second move, 
and 21 PP slept on its third move. Also, you're going to need to use 1 PP up on the third move. The easiest one that I could find was in the basement of the game corner. By the way, to shift the moves around, you just need to be in battle and press select to switch the moves. Your third Pokemon has to be a Tentacool, and thankfully the level and moves don't matter. Your fourth Pokemon has to be a Meowth. This Pokemon is a version exclusive for Pokemon Blue, so if you're playing Pokemon Red, you'll need to either trade it over or use a glitch to find one. For more information on these glitches, go ahead and click on the box in the upper right hand corner. This Meowth needs to have 36 PP left on its first move, 24 PP on its second move, and 20 PP on its third move. Your fifth Pokemon doesn't need to be a specific Pokemon, but does have to have these exact moves. Double Team as the first move, Double Kick as the second move, and Strength as its third move. The easiest Pokemon I could find was a Hitmonlee, which I got from the dojo in Saffron City. It should know Double Kick already. Double Team is TM32, which you can buy at the Celadon City department store, and Strength you'll need to get in Fuchsia City. Finally, your sixth Pokemon again doesn't need to be a specific Pokemon, but does need to have an attack stat of 233. I ended up using the Ditto Glitch to get a Golem, and then doing some DV calculations to find the right one that would give me that specific number if I level it up enough. Again, if you need help on this one, check out my previous video on how you can catch all of the trade evolutions without actually trading. Whew, that was a lot of information. I tried to warn you, this isn't particularly difficult, but there's just a lot to keep track of. But once you've got the right Pokemon, you're ready for the next and final step. Don't worry, you're pretty much done with the hard part. All we need to do now is get the right items so that we can execute the code that we just created. Here's what you need in your bag. Your first item can be anything of any quantity, doesn't really matter. Your second item is the 8F, so make sure to retrieve that from your PC. Third has to be a lemonade, which you can get from the top floor of the Celadon City store. You'll need 255 of these, so just do what you did at the beginning with the X special. Item 4 is X accuracy, which you're going to need 178 of. Item 5 is 218 Carbos. Item 6 is 119 Pokeballs. Item 7 is 201 Freshwaters. And that doesn't really matter what else you have after that. So for the items with weird quantities, you'll need to use the item clone glitch from the beginning and do some math to get the right amount of items. I've included a quick diagram to help you with the calculations. And now we should be good to go. The only caveat to this method is that we can only mess with the stats of one Pokemon at a time. So figure out which Pokemon you want to have perfect stats, and then just make sure that's the first Pokemon in your PC. I'll be using my Gengar, and take a look at stats right now. To execute the code, here's what we do. Go to your items menu and use 8F. It might seem like nothing is happening, but trust me, there's a lot going on right now. Then, toss 1x accuracy. And now repeat this process until you only have 167 X accuracies left. When you toss the final X accuracy, make sure to use 8F one last time. Now let's check on our Gengar. And we'll see that the stats changed pretty drastically. We now have a Gengar with the highest possible stats. So do you think we can beat the Elite Four with this? And that is how you can get a Pokemon with perfect stats in Pokemon Red and Blue. Like I mentioned, you can only do this with one Pokemon at a time. So to do it again, just make sure you have the right number of X accuracies and that you have a different Pokemon in your PC and then just execute the code all over again. If you haven't already, please make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe with notifications on for more videos in the future. There's actually a lot of cool things you can do with this 8F item, so let me know if you're interested in seeing more. And I've also included a link in the descriptions below in case you want to learn more about the specific mechanics behind this glitch. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.